Hey guys, this is, hey guys, this is another video. Today, I'm doing a review on every Punisher that has been on live action screen. Starting off with Dolph Lundgren to, to, to um, Thomas Jane to Ray Stevenson to John Bernthal, which is the one playing back there, which is basically the Netflix version and the MC version. Now that it's confirmed, um, start off with um. I'm also going to include the, the um, Dirty Laundry little short film on YouTube with Thomas Jane in it and um, Ron Perlman. And so, yeah. Golf One Green Punisher, I give it a 5 out of 10. The, the, the action was gritty. It was a really gritty film. Um, he pretty much just lived in the sewers, sort of like Killer Croc and Lizard. Um, there's not really much to say about this film. The action was great, in my opinion. But the movie's too gritty. He didn't even wear a straw vest. He just wore a black shirt and a, and a um and a, um leather jacket, leather, leather trench coat, rocking emo look. Um, mostly rolled on motorcycles, just killing killing random criminals like Punisher always does. Um, but it wasn't really all that brutal, which my opinion thought was kind of great. Um, yeah, for the um second one, Todd for on uh, Talon's Shane version. That film was actually pretty great in my opinion. Um, got this the logo right here, my Punisher shirt. Found it finally. Um, John Cena was a great villain to it. They also made a game. I might include a game, I don't know yet. The game was kind of sort of a sequel to the um, movie. Um, Kevin Nash was a great Russian. Played um, the Russian great in the movie. Um, John Cena was an okay villain. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, no, John Cena. Howard Saint, yeah, Howard Saint. John Saint's son, which is also um sort of the main villain of the Punisher game. Um pretty much um they're supposed to they're making a sequel to the um Punisher to the fourth film, but they couldn't do it. They weren't really casting that many people for Punisher till the next one, which is Ray Stevenson's version. Which my opinion, they tried to make the um, Punisher a great movie on um, Punisher Warzone, but it just wasn't really that good. I give um, credit for the director trying. I think it was a her, maybe she who directed it, trying her best to um, make the Punisher film. It was more comic book ish, more, com more like a comic book than an actual film. But yeah, it had a great action though. The suit was alright. Uh, Ray Stevenson was an alright Punisher, in my opinion. The he looked like he looked like the Punisher from the comics, mostly with the super combed back hair and everything. Uh, Jigsaw was alright, but it was kind of a campy Punisher movie, which in my opinion that was just kind of dumb. You know, for a Punisher movie, it, it, for, if you want to make a Punisher movie, you can't make it campy, really. Um, for the next one, it's gonna be um the John Bernthal one, which everyone loves mostly. One playing back there. Um, John Bertha one was was really great, but I had some minor issues with it. Um, John Bertha was just too small for Punisher, which is kind of a small actor for Punisher. He's five eleven, which is tall, but not as tall to be honest with Punisher. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the Charles Four Punisher too, was him being weak and everything, too sort of icy, just kind of weak and everything, but. John Bertrand was just too small, in my opinion. That's one that everyone loves mostly. Um, his first appearance was in um, what was it? Dark Out, Dark Out season two, where he first appeared, which is one right back there. You see that was Chris playing, which is all from Dark Out season two. That Punisher right there was stripped straight from the comics when it comes to Daredevil and Punisher. That right there was stripped straight from the comics. Punisher is a brutal character in the comics. Um. It was first trade from the comics. Um, they they took some comic comic elements like some scenes from the comic, like when um, Punisher chained Daredevil to like a um, chimney, I think, on a on a building, and um, take the gun to take the gun to his hand and try to get him to kill a criminal, but um, Daredevil won, so Punisher just pretty much killed him. And um. Punch got his own show, pretty much. Um, Punch was mostly in season zero, season two. Mostly Punch was just killing Irish monsters, bikers, which was the dogs of hell, and drug cartels. Um, 
then when he got his own show, um, he's in, in the beginning of the intro, he was still hunting down the bikers, the Irish guys, um, the drug cartels, until he went on, for that, that Punisher show, he went on his own, on his own version of himself, don't know why, he's trying to win his own way, which, in my opinion, that season one was good, season two was, and it had a weak storyline, in my opinion, kind of wish they brought, like, Barracuda, maybe, to, um, Season 2 villain, other than just Billy Russo, considering he's the main villain mostly for Season 1. Um, yeah, that's just my version of how, that, how why I think of the um, Punisher Season 2 and 1, Punisher just everything. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you guys, I might make you a review on doing every Batman ranked. Considering you'll see new Batman tomorrow. I wasn't price I wasn't see it today, but some issues. So we're gonna see it tomorrow. And I'll give you guys my review on it. And see what my thoughts on it. Which my 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 thoughts on it was pretty good in my opinion. So yeah, hope you guys see you guys in the next video.